Hello everyone, I'm Redvase, and today I will be showing you a very cool and overpowered glitch for Lifeboat Survival Mode that you can do a lot of things with. Before we get into how to do it, I would really appreciate it if you would consider giving this video a like and subscribing. It really helps out the channel so much when you do. This glitch allows you to obtain ghost blocks. That basically means you'll be able to place down blocks that only you can see and interact with. You can make it look like you're flying, have infinite diamond blocks, and make invisible staircases with this glitch. It's similar to the keep inventory video I made, but we're going to be doing something that will allow us to stop the ghost blocks from vanishing when we place them down. I'll have that video linked in the top right corner if you want to go watch it. You may have noticed that I have my alt account here, Red Vase Alt, to help me demonstrate this glitch. Firstly, you want to create a ghost item the way you normally would. I'll be using diamond blocks for this, but any block will work. You want to take two of the block you're going to use and place it in your inventory. Then you want to place one down and then throw one directly after you place it, like this. As you'll notice here, we have two diamond blocks there and one in our inventory. This is the ghost block. Now normally when we place this down, it just disappears. But we're going to be doing something different that will allow us to keep it on the ground. In order to stop the ghost block from disappearing, we need to place it onto an interactable object such as a chest, a crafting table, or a furnace. I'll probably just use crafting tables because they're pretty easy to make. So we're going to place our crafting table down, then create the ghost block how we normally would. We have the ghost block, and now we're going to shift, so we're crouching, and then we're going to place it onto the crafting table. As you can see, we open up the crafting table, the block places, and it does not disappear. Now it looks like we've turned one, two diamond blocks into three diamond blocks, but this block actually isn't real. It's a ghost block that is placed down, although you can't actually use it for diamonds, so if we go ahead and mine it up, as you can see, it did not dupe the item. It's only an illusion. But an illusion that is actually there and that you can actually stand on and do stuff with. So if we go ahead and do it again, Let me just grab two diamond blocks here, place it on the crafting table. We can stand on this block, we can punch it, we can walk all around it, and yet no one else can see it. So if I bring my alt account over here, to my alt account it literally looks like we're floating. Now I'm going to do it on my alt account so you can see what I'm talking about. So right now on my alt account, I'm going to create a ghost item. I've just created a ghost dirt block. Now I'm going to place it next to the crafting table. Shift, place, and I have just placed it on the crafting table. As you can see, we can't see that anything is there, but on my alt account screen, it appears that there is a dirt block right there. And we can go ahead and jump on that dirt block, and it literally looks like we're flying on the alt account. We can walk through this block, try and break it, try and punch it. It's literally an invisible block that only this account can interact with. If you want to get a bunch of these blocks really quickly, a fast way to do it is to do multiple at a time. So we can place two diamond blocks here, two diamond blocks here, two diamonds there, and two diamonds there. And we can really quickly create four ghost blocks all at once. Now let's go ahead and pick up all the real diamonds. And then I'm also going to grab some crafting tables too. That way I can do what I want to do with these diamonds. Now I'm going to place these down here and make a wall of fake diamond blocks. Now we can go ahead and break the crafting tables that they're connected to. And as you can see, we have a, a wall of diamond blocks here. However, for everybody else in the server, this just does not exist. As you can see on my alt account, I can just walk through it with ease, as though it wasn't even there. Another cool thing is that my alt account can hit me. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Oh, good thing I saw that on my alt account, otherwise that would have snuck up on me and probably killed me. That was close. All right, another cool thing of this is that the alt account will be able to hit me through these diamonds like that, and I won't be able to hit the alt account because these blocks are there for me. So although I can't attack him at all, he can still go ahead and punch me through these blocks because for him, they're not there.
Is this an invisible skeleton again? I think so. Huh. Looks like it's attacking cereal. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this and hope it doesn't kill me. Something cool that I think you can do with this glitch is making invisible staircases into bases and whatnot. So what we can do here is go ahead and make ourselves a staircase like we normally would. Oh, well, I messed that up. Okay, I don't know what I was doing there. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this staircase. All right, that seems tall enough. And then we can... We could make it taller, but this this is good for now. And we can place our crafting tables on that staircase. Now we can go ahead and create some ghost blocks. Collect the real ones. Place the ghost ones. We still need to make two more, so let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Now we can go ahead and break the cobblestone and the crafting tables, and we'll be left with a staircase that only we have access to. Alright, so I just broke the crafting tables and the cobblestone, so now we can go ahead and walk up here. And to my alt account right now, it literally looks like I'm just levitating in midair, like I'm hacking or something, even though I'm just using these ghost blocks. Some of them just disappeared. That was weird. Speaking of them disappearing, though, these are very temperamental, and you have to be careful not to make them disappear. Doing pretty much anything to them will make them vanish, like placing something on them, like you just saw there, will make them disappear, or even by logging out of the server or logging back in. So just make sure you're wary of what you're doing around them if you want them to stay put. So instead of placing a block on here to build our little platform, I'm going to place a block a little bit away from there, actually. That way we can go ahead and make our little hidden base up here. Assume this, just pretend this staircase is a little bit taller than it is. All right, so now we have our little base set up, and no one can get in this base, unless they build up, of course, but no one can get in this base using this hidden staircase here, because we're the only person who has access to it. Let me do the same thing on my alt account so you can see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a staircase real quick. Okay, glitchy as usual. Hop back up here. Alright, now let's place some crafting tables down. And now let's go ahead and create the ghost blocks on our alt account. Let me go ahead and set it up real quick. All right, here we go. Just gonna get rid of this cow. Get out of here, cow. Now we're gonna create the ghost blocks in our inventory. And then we're gonna place them on the crafting tables while crouching. Now that they're all placed, we can go ahead and break the crafting tables and the cobblestone. And now all that's left is a staircase that my alt account can easily climb up on top of, but we can't see. It literally looks like he's fly hacking right now or something. That's crazy. Look at him up there. Can we even reach him? Yeah, we can still reach him. But we can't get to him. There are probably some pretty funny pranks you can come up with using this. I mean, look at that. He's literally just flying in the air behind us. That's crazy. Get down from there, sir. Also, in the intro of this video, I said you could make it look like you have more items than you actually have. So, what we're going to do now is make it look like we have a lot more than just eight diamond blocks. Let's go ahead and place down some crafting tables. This seems to be a good amount right here. I don't need this last one. And now let's go ahead and create some ghost item blocks. This is going to take a while, so I'll probably just time lapse through this.
All right. Now it literally looks like we have an entire massive old pile of diamonds here, even though we only have eight blocks. Those eight blocks are still in our inventory, which means that all of the diamonds that are on the floor right now are completely fake. They're ghost blocks. No one else can see them. Only I can interact with them and walk on them, and they're just invisible for everybody else. My alt account literally walks through them, but the cool thing is it looks like I have a lot more diamonds than I do on my screen. Now, I'm not saying you can use this to fake the amount of wealth you have, but uh, do as you will with this. This here looks like a pretty good screenshot. Actually, I think it would look better if these pillars were behind me, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly and then take the screenshot. There we go. That looks much better. This might be the thumbnail. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just do a picture of my alt account flying. I'll probably do that. Overall, this is a really cool glitch. You can make it look you have an absolutely massive amount of diamonds, make invisible staircases into bases, make it look you're flying, and so much more. I really like this one. Now that you know how to do this glitch, let me know in the comments what you plan to do with it. Thank you, Serial, I hope I pronounced that right, for helping me get set up in this video. He helped me mine for these diamond blocks. He plays on SM126 and is trying to get a max level enchant table if you want to go help him out. This is him right here. He's very helpful and very nice. Unrelated to all of this, last week there was a very fun $300 manhunt event on SM Plus hosted by Opopg. He will be uploading a video about it, so I'll link his channel in the description if you want to go watch it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. There's a link to my Discord in the description of this video. And thank you for watching.